Well, this weekend's White House Twitter rant sparked the hashtag racist in chief. After he told progressive freshman congresswomen to go back to the countries they came from. And this morning, Senator Lindsey Graham kept it going on Fox and Friends, calling them communists who hate our country. Oh, God. So let's start with this. Hey. (laughs) (laughs) Some of these women, like Rashida Tlaib, born in Detroit, Michigan. Anya Presley, born in Cincinnati, born in Cincinnati, American citizen. Ilian Omar has been a citizen since 2000 when she was 17. Now look, maybe this is all political force or maybe, it, I don't know what it is, but this is very dangerous. Yeah. You don't want to be telling people to go back to their country because if we got to go, you're going too. <laughs> American, you don't belong here either, okay? They're the first Americans, okay? The rest of us, whether we got here on top of the boat or beneath the boat, okay? We all got here from somewhere else. Don't do this. You don't want to start this fight. We are American citizens, and it is our job and their job, frankly, to tell you when they think that you're wrong. That's their job as as American citizens and as people who are around in the political thing. That's all I have to say. Stop. Don't do this again. Yeah. Well, he needs to be medicated. (laughs) (laughs) Number one. The other thing is, I really I think that he knows that they're born here. He knows it. Yeah. It's just like he knew that Obama was not born in Kenya. He just does this as a racist whistle to people who follow him. Yeah. And apparently, they're just as big racist as he is, and so they buy it. So that's what he's doing. Well, yeah. I don't like it. Well, I, and I, I don't like it either. I don't think anybody likes it. And I think what was, what was um, really surprising to me on top of it was, um, I, and I haven't looked at it recently, but something like 90,000 people liked that tweet. Mm-hmm. And what does that say about those people and, and the people that we live with every single day in our country? And just that, that term, go back to where you came from. I remember being about six years old and walking to the corner store with my grandmother, who didn't speak a lot of English, and she would always speak to me in Spanish. And I realize now she did it so that I would learn the language, which has been a huge benefit to me. But someone said to her, go back to your country. And she said in accented English, this is my country you know and I just remember being so proud of that and I remember being told go back to Africa and all this nonsense and it's so hurtful and it's so dismissive and I I always thought well that would be you know those people are just hateful and ignorant and racist I never thought the day would come when I would hear that from the president of the United States of America look It's deeply xenophobic and racist on a lot of different levels. My sister was not born in this country, okay? My sister wasn't born here. She's as American in every way as I am and everybody else. Mm -hmm. And she also has been subjected to many racist political campaigns, which, by the way, Lindsey Graham, you were present for. I remember when you were there when it happened. So seeing that on Fox and Friends this morning was particularly particularly hurtful. But I will say, I know we have a clip, but just let me finish with my producer in my ear. I will say, there are legitimate criticisms, political criticisms you can make of the squad. Yes. Which we do on this show. Yes. I have never gotten more heat in my entire career, my entire life, for the criticism that I have of uh, Congresswoman Omar's Mm -hmm. stance on Israel, Mm -hmm. which we have litigated at length here. Right. And it has happened to me on other shows as well. Right. Stick to the politics. The problem is, you're making this about race, you're making this about racism, you're making this about what's truly American, and it's Mm -hmm. all these old racist dog whistles that have plagued this country for Mm -hmm. so long. Mm -hmm. And for me, as the conservative representative on this show, I was so upset coming back yesterday. I was in D.C. with my husband. I came back and I was like, because this is what people think all conservatives are now. And we are not. It's not. But I will say, but I will say, I will say. Yeah. To go out at ladies, have a free for all. The cowardice I'm seeing, Republicans not speaking out and saying it today is embarrassing. Thank you. Right? Wow. The silence wow. is no, deafening. No, no, no. All of you, oh. have at it. Yeah. Seriously, all of you go 
You're crazy. We're it's deeply the cowardly. Republican leadership yes. is disgraceful I, I have right nothing now. for this. And let's I have nothing look, for this. If, if you see these clips of before Lindsey Graham, before he was supporting Trump, and after, you'll yeah. understand what we're talking about. Oh, you know what we're talking about. Oh. He's a race-baiting, xenophobic, religious bigot. He doesn't represent my party. He doesn't represent the values that the men and women who wear the uniform are fighting for. Yeah, I know, but and so then, did Kazir Khan when he wore the uniform and died, and he wasn't born here either. So, I, again, like, I just, I can't do this right now, yeah. and whatever is happening to Lindsey, this is not the person I used to know. Lindsey Graham, in 2015, when he was calling Trump a race baiter, ha has had a favorability of around 16% in South Carolina. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Since he has joined forces with the president, in, the uh, racist in chief, his approval rating amongst Republicans is now 74%. This is what why, does that say? This is why he's doing it. It's says that people have had a very hard time but, holding on to these feelings that they have. But I know, just like you can't paint all black people the same, all white people the same, we have to find the people that we understand and who figured out that this is a country that has already been through this. We already did this. We've gone through this uh, several times. And I don't know anybody who thinks they're going back. Yeah. Because I tell you... No woman is going back to what women and how women used to be treated. We're not going back with that. We're going to fight. Black people are not going to take it. They're not going back. Well, a woman was accused him of raping her in Bergdorf Goodman recently, and yeah. uh, nothing happens from it. But this is, but but, this is but a I, different yeah. groove. This is, I want to, you know, this is a different group because I have a big bitch with everybody. Not here, mm -hmm. but for me, you know, I listened to Mike Pence talk about he was at the border the other day and he didn't, you know, he he didn't really see what folks were talking about. And he was upset with Democrats. And then I listened to the to the women talk about what they had seen. And I mm -hmm. thought, you know what? How come there's not a law mm -hmm. in this country that says when this side says this is what's happening and this side says this is what's happening, some law should kick in that says, OK. Both groups have to go with cameras and look at the same time. We're all going to see what's going on together because this idea that. of yeah. you going I'm not and not going with them and not going with them. Forget it, because I can't tell which one of y'all is full of do. But, well, maybe, but okay. maybe, that's what, so, maybe we should but, demand a law. That's what the, the, that's what, the laws are already in place. That's what the but judicial no, process is for. No, there's no law saying, listen, if both sides are saying this is the, what's happening and the American people don't know who to believe, but, then both sides should have to go to the border with a camera crew so that we look at it through the camera. I think it's a good idea. So they should all go. But that's, together. that's what but you do when you sue just, the administration. You know, One final know. thing. Yeah. It can't just be me and Geraldo. Somebody else has to come out and come out against this. I'm serious. Really? It yeah. is very yeah. petrifying. Yeah. That, so there is not one sitting that member is... of Congress that will come out against this Nobody. on my side. Get up. It's humiliating for silence. me on TV right now. And Get up. You, someone has to say something other than me and her You guys keep talking okay? about black Republicans. Where the hell are you? Where are you? Where are you, Republicans? And if that's how it's going to go down, let me remind you. There is a poem that talks about, you know, when Silence. I said about, you know, this was happening over here and mm -hmm. nobody said a word and I didn't say anything. And then they came, and then for, they me. came for me. So be careful because it could be you next. We'll American be right back. <laughs> Later,